everybody should know that's how love goes. It's good for the soul. No, I got a long way to go, but it won't stop the pain. No, no. That's the kind of thing that keeps me coming. Well, I miss the day again, you guys. Um, like this video, give this video a thumbs up. Share, share, share with your friends and family. This show now was cooking on my cooking channel. And if this your first time watching my cooking channel, share, share, share with your friends and family as well. Like, comment below if you have any questions. Thumb this video up. And also, uh, subscribe if you don't mind. I really, really appreciate it. And if you already subscribed to my cooking channel, thank you guys so much. I really, really appreciate it. And if you want to see the next upload video that I post on my cooking channel, just make sure you guys keep your notification bell on and you will see the next upload video that I upload on my cooking channel. By that, be safe. You guys have a blessed day and be safe out there. Till then, I will see you guys in the next upload video. Now, um, again, like I said, this is my my uh version of uh, okra stew with oxtail and i already i just gonna like i said i know i'm probably not gonna eat this right with my finger but um because um i'm just gonna eat it with a fork okay so hope you guys uh make this and this is so i made this before but I, like I had um, a lot of greeny with it, but this is more better because um, it's got less ingredient. It got the right ingredient ingredient to season because I got this food um, at the Africa International Market, except the spinach and what else? Yeah, but you guys can get the first bite. Okay. Got the first bite. Oh wow, don't that look so good, you guys? I hope you guys um uh, and you want to see how I make this. Keep watching this video and you will see how I make it. Alright, so you guys got that first bite. Wow. Mm. Want another bite? The fufu. And that fufu is so sticky, you guys. You know what I'm saying? But yeah. Yeah, I can tell the difference. You know, and you can see the ingredient that I use. You know what the uh what they use as well. Okay. Mm. I forgot to show you guys what I'm drinking on. Guys, see that? Mm. Ice. I'm sorry about that. But anyway, this is so good. Now I got the right. So I now got the right recipe. Well, I had the little. I just had a lot of seeds in my first one. See that garlic? Ooh. Mm, mm, mm. Boy, I'm telling you, these oxtail that I got at that market, man, don't have all enough meat on here. Wow. But anyway, you guys can get the first bite. There's the oxtail. Oops. I saw about that, you guys. Ah. Oh. 
that's crazy. Well, see a little bit of me. Well, I would use my finger, especially with that ox tail. Got a lot of gristle, but but overall, I think I did a good job. Yep. Mm hmm. All right, bye bye. See you guys in the next upload video and if you guys want to see how i make that just keep watching you'll see how i make my okra stew with oxtail okay all righty bye bye <coughs> well hello you guys welcome back to my cooking channel <clears throat> well, today in my kitchen, <clears throat> when I'm cooking, and I had cooked this before, so I was trying to just, the other one had a lot of ingredients in it, but I tried to cut it down, so this is my okra stew um, with oxtail. So this should be a little uh, easy. If you want to follow the recipe of my okra stew. Okay, so, yeah. And most of this stuff, like this stuff right here, I got at the Africa, um, what was it, the Africa market? International market. Yeah, uh, Africa International, International market. market. So, this I got. And what this is, you guys, this is the uh, crab, the dry crab fish. And the man who from Nigeria, he said this is, this part is the really good, good flavor. You know, that's how you make some good okra stew. Um, he don't have the name of it because he was so nice. It just gave me some in the sandwich bag. But this is what you call the dry crabfish also I got this at his place and this is the oxtail okay and I got this at the at his market international market this is the okra now I just picked this up uh, at the local grocery store so this is the spinach that's what required in it also he did kind of give me uh, because they had a big, big gala. But because I don't have a restaurant, he, he was so nice to kind of give me some in this container. Okay, and really, you guys, uh, if you ever want to make any kind of day Africa soup or stew or whatever, this is the only thing you need. This right here. And he just said just only use one or two. You know. Um. You know, you use whole uh, onion, but I like to buy these at my local grocery store. It's already chopped. And I, what I probably do is I probably grind, grind some of the uh, garlic, fresh garlic. And I got some uh, fresh ginger paste. Okay. Uh, and this is the pepper that I'm going to use for the stew. Now, I might use this right here. You can. If you want a more st like a st stew and stuff and I love this because it's easy to make the food food okay so this is really really easy I don't like to buy that too okay so if you look it ain't see last time when I made this okra stew I had a lot of lot of season and stuff so I found a uh, Africa International Market up the street where I stay at. So I'm glad, you know, that I have one closer to my home. So if you want to go by, and this right here, he said, get a handful 
first you have to wash it and grind it up. You don't cook this whole, but you always got to wash this because this is the dry uh, crawfish. So that's very important because I'm not going to use all this. He just said just use a, maybe about a pound handful, you know, wash it out and then grind it. And I'm going to grind my garlic as well and maybe my pepper. But yeah. All right, you guys, so uh, if you want, this is all my ingredients for my okra stew. And hope you guys will see how it turn out. All righty. Okay, you guys, so I washed my oxtail. Now I'm going to put the season on and I'm to boil it because it's probably going to take, well, it ain't really that big, you know. So it'll probably take 40 minutes to boil, you know, to kind of get the meat tender, okay. Okay, you guys, so I got my oxtail in my pot. And again, this is, <clears throat> they, I have never tasted season before. This is the Q. They only, well, the guy, I think he said this only used two of these. Because I think it's more season. Got a lot of season. But I'm still going to add a little, just to boil my uh, oxtail with a little flash sprinkle of uh, garlic powder, uh, onion powder. See that? And <clears throat> I like spicy food, so probably add a sprinkle of uh, rest pepper, black pepper, and salt. Okay. <clears throat> so now I'm just to fill my oxtail. I always say fill it up, you know, just cover the meat. So that's what I'm just to add my water now. You know what, you guys, I'm just going to add the season and then my water, okay? Okay, now. <clears throat> I'm just gonna add my season before I add my water. You know, <clears throat> just kind of coat it. <clears throat> so, oops, and my hand is clean, you guys. So don't worry about it. Just like, just when I'm doing when I season, that way it could be well coated. Then I put my water. You know, kind of. Well. And I don't want to put too much salt because they said them cues may be a little salty. You know, so have to be careful with that. You know, even though uh, the black pepper is kind of seasoning, I'm just gonna go ahead and put the onion powder, the garlic powder, and this is just to season your meat. Oops, and a little crushed pepper. I like spicy food. So just go ahead and <clears throat> kind of stir it around, you know. And then I put my water in. You know, if that makes sense, you have to season your meat, you know. And then these is kind of real small, so you're probably just on the, you're going to boil them in about 40 minutes, you know. So. That's how the season look, you guys. Can you guys see that? Okay. Okay, now we'll go ahead and fill it up with water. Just the top, just to cover the meat. Okay, now I added my water. Let me turn on my fire. And then I'm gonna go ahead and drop these two. The uh um, let's call it. Yeah. And that's it. And I will let this come to a boil and then just kind of cut the fire a little bit low, medium. And kind of, it all depends, you know, how big the meat is. But I think you simmer. Uh, you boil it for 40 minutes, okay?
Okay, so now I'm put the lid and let it cook for 40 minutes. Oh, you guys, I forgot to add my onion. Oh. And just half of it. I forgot that. <laughs> Good thing I thought about it. Okay, now I'll put my lid back on. Okay, you guys, so um, um, kind of real chop my garlic. Just take the ends off of it. Okay, you guys have it really chopped up. My habanero peppers, garlic, and the red pepper. It's already chopped up. Okay. Okay, you guys, <clears throat> this is my crawfish, so I'm going to go ahead and wash it, because you have to wash this right here, okay? And then I'm going to grind it up. Crawfish. It kind of got some. Yeah. Okay, you guys, so I wash, wash it real good, then I'm going to put it in the grinder. That's how it look when it's washed. Then I'm gonna use the grinder. This is it right here. Okay. Okay, you guys, so I must have grind it up. Okay. See, that's the crabfish. Okay, now I'm just to brown it up. I don't think I have never used this before, you guys. But let's see. I think you just push it. Down. Oh, there you go. You just push it down. <laughs> Okay, guys, see how it ground up. That's the fish, crawfish, crawfish. I'm sorry. Alrighty, it's all ground up. Let's see. Okay. I guess you guys I pulled the um what is that? Crawfish. This is how I look. Okay, so now I get it. And the guy said that <clears throat> this this uh, crawfish is the it's real good with the okra stew. Got a lot of flavor to it. Okay, you guys, <clears throat> I think my oxtail, my oxtail is ready. Okay, and I have to uh, see how it look. Yep. Huh? What you say? Yes, it's, yep, it's ready. Okay, I put my oxtail in a bowl, and <clears throat> you always want to save your bra. <clears throat> yep. Okay, so I'm going to put this inside and then finish my okra stew. I mean, okra stew. Okay. 
Okay, you guys, so next, <clears throat> put the heat on my, my oil in my pot. You guys see how I look? That's the red palm oil. Okay, now I'm gonna heat it up um, for two to three minutes, the oil. Can you see that? Turn on my timers because it said uh, two to three minutes because you want your oil to get real hot. Put on my timer. <clears throat> Okay, you guys, boy, this all get really hot, you know. So um, now I'm just adding my other half of the onion. I'm putting this right here because I don't want the all to splash on me. Okay, thought it was going to do it because I turned my heat off. Ooh, gosh, okay. what they make that with, you know. You want to have to be careful with this oil because you don't want to get uh -oh, all to get on your skin, you know. Yeah, I'm gonna cook another minute, but that was time I took it out because it was smoking. I see that. And they, they said this palm oil is, is real fatty. So I could see why, you know. Okay, now I'm just adding my crawfish. And just a, you just add it just a few seconds because you don't want to cook this um, crawfish because if you cook it too long, it'll, it'll burn. Okay? Just a few seconds. Kind of, you know, get a good pace to it. <clears throat> okay? Now I'm just adding <clears throat> my uh, oxtail back in here, and after I add all my oxtail, then I'm gonna add the broth that I cooked the oxtail with. Okay? See how I'm doing it? Okay. Now I add all my oxtail. We're gonna kind of coat it first, and then I'm gonna pour my pull my bra in with the oxtail. Just trying to coat it, you know. Look good. I think I'm doing pretty good, you guys. My first time doing it different. But this ain't my first time making okra's uh, stew. This is the second one with less ingredient. That's my first one. You guys go look at it. You can see <clears throat> I didn't have I had a lot of season and a lot of ingredients. So we're going to see how this is going to turn out. Okay? Now I'm going to add my bra. Okay. It's kind of cold it. Okay, you guys, I did say I was going to ground it up, but I'm just going to put it whole. Let's see, I'm not going to ground it up. Just going to put everything in. 
are better anyway. You can just stir it up. See, it come to a little paste, a base. See that? Then now, I'm going to pull my bra, the bra that I cooked the oxtail in. Okay? Just trying to get all the seasoned stuff on the oxtail before I pull my my bra, okay? Okay. Oops. What I'm gonna do, you guys, I'm gonna squeeze some of this junior, just a little. About a tablespoon. I see. Then kind of stir it up. See? Look real good. You see how this paste now? That's what you want. Okay. See all that. Yep. No. Okay. Almost finished. I don't know if I'm, I said I'm probably going to do that because you don't have to, but I'm not going to add that because I don't want, I want to see, you know, how this tastes, you know, before I, <clears throat> you know, if I like to say, I could always uh, add. Uh, I'm like, this probably going to, I'll probably have some meat for tomorrow anyway. So if I need to add the canned tomato, I'll add it. Okay, so that's all my green. Now I'm going to pull my bra. Back on my hand. Stir it, then kind of let this come back to a ball. Okay, you guys see? See? Okay. Okay, now, now I got only thing I need to miss is the okra and spinach and my fufu. So I just take it. The easy way out. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay, now Mr. Ed. Okay, now Mr. Ed, my okra. And you guys, you don't really need no. I just taste this. So, all the greeting that you saw. Please don't add no more salt to it because I don't need it. Okay, so now I wash with the throw in my okra. Oops. It looks like a <laughs> you know what? Okay. This is because I rinsed it while it was still frozen. But this is okay. You know? Then you cook this for about two minutes, okay? And then you add your spinach. Alrighty? Stir it up. I'm sorry.
It stinks. Really? I guess you won't be eating it. Oh, you guys. Sorry about that. Now you guys, I'm going to add my spinach. That's the last ingredient. It's the spinach. And I'm going to add two bags, you guys, because I love spinach. Okay, I'm going to stir this up first before I add my oven. Yeah, I love spinach, you guys. I'm going to add the other one to it real quick. And this is the kind I use. And again, like you said, <clears throat> you could use, if you want to, you could use um, the first spinach, but this, this is just frozen, you know, it's still fresh, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's still fresh, it's just frozen, cut up and frozen, okay? Now I'm going to let this come to a boil, simmer for about two to three minutes and my okra stew is done and I'm gonna make my uh, fufu okay so I got about 48 seconds and it will be done Ooh. I'll tell you guys oh my god and it's just like I think I did a great job wow look at that See that, you guys? Wow. I did a great job. Wow. Look at that. The oxtail. You see the first garlic. I'm sorry about that. Wow. Oxtail. That's it. That's the timer that's going on. Look at that. Wow. That's awesome. I can tell right now this is going to be good. Yep. Wow. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. It's done. Now I'm just making my I'm just to make my food food. I see why they be so expensive at African restaurant. Because it takes time, you know, to prepare all this. You know what I'm saying? So I see why they kind of very expensive. You know? Look at that garlic. Yep. Let's make my food food. So, okay, so it said <clears throat> boil your water in a tea kettle, you know, to make the uh, food food. To make the food food. And it's real easy, you guys. Yep. Real, real easy. Okay, so I'll add in one cup of the fufu flour. Put it on here. 
And then I'm just gonna add my hot water. Okay, now I'm gonna put the bottle of water over the top of the foo foo. Oops. And then stir it up with a wooden spoon. See how I'm doing it. Just stir it to that smooth it out. Yeah. Sorry about the noise, but I'll, I'll come right back. Okay, you guys, that's how it's going to look. Look at the best potato, don't it? See, but that's my fufu. It's time to eat my. My okra oxtail soup with the foo foo. Okay, so now I'm just gonna wrap some up like they do it in uh, my foo foo in the saran wrap. Okay. Okay, so now you guys, I'm at the uh, kind of. Roll the fufu up. This is really sticky, you guys. Okay, see that? Really sticky, sticky. Okay, see how I'm doing it. It's gonna take me a minute. Okay, you guys, I wrapped it up. That's my husband. I already ate once. So I made four. Out of this way here, yeah. So, yep, that's it. That's the food food. Okay, so now I'm busy put some of this on my plate. That's my food food, you guys. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, see the oxtail because of the spinach. And then to show you the oxtail. They don't have that much meat. But anyway, now I'm just gonna make my make my plate, you guys. Hope you guys make this easy, easy, easy. I guarantee. I think I did a great, great job, you guys. Yep. Good job. When I first ate the okra soup, I thought, I didn't know what, I, I, I thought that was collard green. But yeah, now I see them making the spinach. Alrighty, so now I'm just to make my plate. Okay, there's my plate. I'm gonna make it. Okay, so now to make it more easy, cause this stuff is real 
Thank you, you guys. I'm going to just put some on top of the fufu. That way it'd be more easy to eat. And I know Africa people eat um, this with their finger. But I'm going to eat mine. Um, I'm going to eat mine with a fork, you guys. Okay? That's the oxtail. Oxtail. Okay, you see that garlic? Look at that garlic. I'm not going to get too much. Yeah, it ain't no meat on here, you guys. Gosh, Jesus Christ. Wow, look at that. Nothing but bones. Anyway, whatever. Okay, so you guys see how I make it? I just like to put my uh, food food for the keep hot okay. all right that's enough so now I'm just to start digging in